What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of was planning on doing like a vlog style but I'm gonna say that for tomorrow because I'm going to a hockey game and it's my first hockey game so I'm kind of excited. But today I am going to review, kind of like talk about like lifestyle stuff like what's been going on in my week, <laughs> hectic week. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do like a first impressions review on Colourpop. This is how it came like. To be fair, what sold it to me was all the butterflies. Look at all that! They're so pretty! And then it says, this is what comes out. Like, Won't you be mine? Which is really pretty. And then they came out with two collections at the same time. So they came out with the blush one and they came out with the nude one. So I got the blush one and this is kind of how the packaging came out. I was just going to get the... The palette. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to get the palette, but I noticed that like it was a better deal if I got the collection. So I only got the blush collection, not the blush and nude. I have enough nudes, so I wanted to get the blush collection. So I got the palette. The highlighter, like that, and then I got, it came with the lip crayon bundle, so there's two lip crayons in here. I will put it up right here, like how much it was, and the other one, but I'm pretty sure they're sold out. I know the nude one sold out kind of instantly, but I, I like the blush one better, to be honest. Open it to, I kind of already opened it because... I kind of need to take talk about it. Yeah, I'm on TikTok now. <laughs> Here are the colors. I haven't had like a palette like this in a while. And I decided to just buy it. Okay, shoot. I'm gonna watch this one. Pretty. And this one. Yes. I will say that the... This little guy up here. Like it looks... Ir like it looks very bright but... When I swatch it, uh, it's not that intense. I will say it's just like a topper, unless you want, like, it's very powdery. <laughs> it's, pow it's powdery. It is a nice topper for the other ones that you will put for your lid, like Blossom Up. That, one, that one's cute. I don't know how you pronounce it. Enamore? Enamore. I don't know if it's supposed to be like Latin or something like that, but yeah. That's the palette. I'll show you the highlighter. It's a super shock highlighter. I haven't bought like a ColourPop highlighter in such a, like a long time, so I don't know if this is supposed to be the... They used to have them in like little thingies and it used to feel like very squishy. Oh, what is it? I'm so dumb and I swatched it already. There is that. I guess I'm just gonna swatch things for you guys. That one is pretty. And then, last but not least, we have the Just a Tint Lip Crayon Bundles. Honestly, like I think I think it's literally like how the name is. It's just gonna tint your lips. So there are these two. I'll show you how these two look like on my lips just in the end of the video. But yeah, let's get started with trying them on. I haven't used this background in such a while. Um, I don't think you can notice, or maybe you did notice, but I don't have my little twinkly fairy lights anymore. They are kind of iffy. Like literally, I tried putting, I tried changing the batteries and it would die on it very fast. I don't think they're supposed to do that. Like I don't think they're supposed to die like that. And it died. So I just decided to take them off. And then they were looking a little bit dirty too. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the highlighter. I just want to like, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face a little bit. Alright, so what I usually do is just spray my face and then when it's still wet, I go in very quickly with a highlighter brush and just quickly apply it on there so it could still be the brightest. That, oh! <laughs> That is bright. That is intense. 
I mean, that's about that out a little bit, actually. And like, bring a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it on my inner tear ducts. And my nose. Gives it a little bit of a pink tint to it, but I'm not mad about it. It's like a baked highlighter right there, so you can see that there's a pink one, there's like a darker brown, and then a regular pearly kind of highlighter. So I think the pink is coming out a lot more than I expected, but overall, it's nice. All right, going with the palette, I'm gonna go ahead and use Cheek to Cheek, which is the bottom middle one right over here. So what I was telling you about um, like life-changing stuff, not life-changing, but like it's a little bit changing for me. As you guys know, I figure skate. And when you are a competitive skater, you need a coach. <laughs> well, <laughs> I no longer I'm skating with my regular coach at the moment. So, well actually, I'm not gonna skate with him anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna say what happened. I'm just no longer skating with him. And I am totally okay with it. I really doubt he's ever gonna see my YouTube channel, so I've been wanting to switch coaches for a while. I have a competition next Sunday. I'm filming this February 22nd. When this goes up, I'm gonna try to post it tomorrow. So Sunday the 23rd for you guys. The competition is March 1st. I'm gonna try to ask the other coach, which is the one that I've been wanting to ask him to be my coach for a while. I'm gonna ask him to be my full-time coach and to be fair, he I kind of like his technique a lot better. I told, I told everybody like my problem, like what happened. And I told them like, oh yeah, I've been wanting to switch for a while. And they're like, so what's the problem? <laughs> The problem was what happened. I'm not gonna say, cause I don't want to, but like, it's very childish. And then I don't think I actually ever said what I'm skating to. I'm skating to a Star Wars song. <laughs> now you know. I was, the dress, I'll show you the dress right now. I'm gonna go in with Blossom Up and put on the lid, then pop a bottle right in the middle. Yeah, so it was very random what happened about that. Um, I, everyone was telling, and then the day after that, um, I kind of hit my car and the, the like, I call it the ear, but it's the side mirror. <laughs> it fell off. <laughs> so that, I had to go get it fixed. And then when I told everybody that, they were like, he gave you an, he gave you an evil eye. I guess meaning he like gave me bad juju. I believe in that stuff. So when they said that he gave me bad juju, I'm like, why would he do that to me? <laughs> and I found out that it is gonna be a thousand dollars to fix because the part is like 800. So yeah, Papa Bottle is definitely just a topper because it's, it's mainly glitter and a lot of powder, so. I'm just putting it in the middle and it gives it like a really nice accent to it. I don't know if you can see it. I kind of want to use How Rouge on the outer corner. They, These two here, they have glitter. I'm pretty sure you can see. Like they have glitter on them. I would never think that like... This is the thing. I don't... Like I love doing makeup, but I don't know what I would like. Would you still use this for an outer corner shadow with the glitter? Because for me, I I've been taught like not to put like shimmer here for an outer corner. I don't know. It's like giving me fairy vibes, to be honest. I want I want to do a wing, but I'm not entirely sure if I should or shouldn't. Only because I kind of like get lazy to, to do wing eyeliner now. But when I have it, I love having a wing. Oh, this is like really pretty. I'm like, I'm digging this. No. 
Do you see that little lash right there? That has been bugging the crap out of me for a week straight. It doesn't want to fall off either. Okay. I think I, I think I'm done blending. I don't know why I keep on blending. That the lid is fine. I have to go down to the under right now. And for that, let me just try. going in with cheek to cheek. I'm gonna go in the under eye. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner. Only <laughs> I'm just lazy, to be honest. I haven't done a winged eyeliner in such a long time that the fact, the, like the thought of just doing a winged eyeliner and me being a perfectionist with that, mm -mm, I can't. Okay, now I'm going in with Hot Rouge and putting that on the outer corner of my lower lash line. Also, I don't know. Do I know? I don't know. I have work tomorrow until 2 o'clock and then the game is in Anaheim. I forgot who they're against. I know it's the big, like, the Las Vegas Knights against the Ducks? Because it's in Anaheim? I don't know. Somewhere over there. Um, I feel like this look is the same look I always do. Here is how they look like without mascara. Really nice. Don't worry about my acne. I got a new acne solution, which I hope it works because it is from my dermatologist. <laughs> I got another thing to tell you guys. I ordered this from Amazon. And I was like, okay, the price is nice for the three set because I'm gonna be honest with you, they are pretty pricey. So one bottle, like the cleanser, and it's a good size bottle. The cleanser is like $30. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit pricey. And I got the, the set for 80. That's already including taxes, it's $80. So I'm saving like a good $15 already. Like. Obviously with like the taxes over there, if I was to get the whole entire set, it would be like 90 something dollars. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I got that. And when it came in, they were the travel size ones. So they scammed me so bad and I'm so annoyed. But I guess it makes my, it's gonna help my skin for a little bit until I actually go to a dermatologist because I haven't gone yet and I should be going. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mascara and I will see you guys to try on the lips. Mascara is done. So here's how it looks like with mascara. So yeah, my lashes are pretty big. They look kind of spidery. So this is how it looks like. It is really nice and pink and like rose gold, everything that I love. So we're gonna go ahead and try on the little The crayons. So we're gonna start off with this one. This is the lighter one. It's called Always Right. So this is how it looks like. It is like lighter. Well, obviously, I don't know how to describe it. It's really nice. It is definitely just like a little the crayon. It's not gonna definitely. It's not gonna stay on for long. Um, this color. I'm gonna try the other one first before I like say what I think about it. But this one, it smells like candy, like a lip smacker one. That's how it smells like. This is how it smells like, a lip smacker. Gotta take off this one. Keep in mind though, my lips are very, very, as you can see, pigmented. Yeah, I have nothing on. I already took it all off. Nothing. <laughs> and I'm not gonna put any concealer because I just don't like that. It's just, it's too much on my lips and no, it's not pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and use um, the next one. <laughs> I didn't show you what it was. It's the Feel Good. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit more on the rosy color. The other one was more of a pinky mauve. This is how the other one looks like. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more rosier. Um, I kind of want to see how they look combined. I don't know if it changed, to be honest. <laughs> but I still like it regardless. These things are kind of hard to push in. So for the lip ones, they feel like a moisturizer for your lips. It's a, it's a lip crayon with a tint. I'm assuming it's like, like 
I don't know, I've never had any of these. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be like a, um, a lip balm with coloring. If you're looking for like something long lasting, this is definitely not going to last for that long. And can you tell like once you start eating something, it's, it's going to go away. Like you're going to have to reapply it right away. All right, so review. Okay, sorry. I didn't. I don't even think I actually like reviewed everything properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just review it very quickly. The highlighter is really nice highlighter. I would definitely see myself wearing this every day, even with minimal makeup. Because right now I have a full face of makeup. With minimal makeup, say like you just want to use concealer, some blush, I would top this. Like I'll put this right on here, just a little bit, not too much, because then it's gonna be like this and then actually this could go for like a nice i put it here this would go for a nice um lid color just like a little dash of it nothing too big the packaging it reminds me actually a little bit like mark jacobs let me show you here are the two packaging like they look almost identical the only thing is that the mark jacobs has a little um button right there to open it just like that and then this guy you have to like open it just like like regular just open it like that this is nine grams this one is 25 grams so obviously this one has more product into it which is good because it's very pricey like this one this one is a little bit heavier like this thing is this has some weight to it and then this one is a little bit lighter um, but yeah packaging wise very similar but i still love like the little dashes of flower there like that is my favorite like flowers favorite and then with the palettes i would like to have these two not glittery like i would just want them matte and then the lighter ones shimmery i just wish this one wasn't as glittery and had more product to it like i said when i swatched it oh you can still see it right there when i swatched it only the glitter comes out, you can't really tell. It's right here, just the glitter comes out, not the whole entire thing. Compared to like, bottoms up. See? A really big difference right there. This, this is like a really good springtime palette. Like it has all your pinks, your purples. This would have been good for Valentine's Day actually. It would have, but it came out after Valentine's Day, so. Really good springtime slash summer if you like the rose gold neutral girl this is your thing these guys the lip crayons i would have to keep wearing them throughout the day to see whether i like them i'll wear this one during the day the, the lighter one and i'll let you guys know right here if i ended up liking it or not liking it that is the end of this video i hope you liked my little ramble i feel like i have like I'm gonna have like little sessions like this, doing my makeup, talking to you guys, telling you what's going on. I hope you like my video. If you want to see more, go ahead and like, subscribe, and then turn on the post notifications so you know when I upload. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Okay, I forgot to show you guys the dress. Look at it. Can you guess who it is? I'm pretty sure you can guess right away who it is. I'm right. <laughs>